I shouldn't be this proud of having an iPod in my house. Like, seriously. Hey, Mythic J here with another video. For those who are new, welcome. This is a video, this is a channel where I do most, mostly gaming, but now I'm doing more of tech stuff and vlogs. So, uh, do stick around if you want that kind of stuff. For those who are older to my channel, yes, I found another old tech thing or something. This time it's a little bit different. It's an iPod, and it's the only Apple product I have in my house. I know, it's a shocker. This is a Apple branded USB. And I don't know what kind of iPod this is. I'm pretty sure it's an iPod mini. Hmm, two gigabytes. Eh. Two gigabytes is puny compared to all my other devices. We're gonna plug this into here. Why? Well, I do have a charging area over there. Oh. No sleeping. A charger back over there, but I'm not gonna do it for now. And usually I charge my other devices. Let's go. Oh, this is so scary. I can't believe he's doing this. Ah, no, it's an Apple and you're using Microsoft. No. I, I see an Apple logo. Is that a good sign? Is it going to jump scare me with a bunch of sounds? Because that's usually what happens every time I start up an old thing. I, I just see an Apple logo. What's going on? Oh, I'm seeing do not disconnect. It's really hard to see, but... Oh my goodness. We did it! We have done it! We have managed to get it on the computer as well. This is just brilliant. This is awesome. It's very hard to see, but it's showing a do not disconnect. In these situations, we usually bust out the... Handy dandy mythic J. I said handy dandy mythic J. Why is it not working? Flashlight. It doesn't work again. All right, managed to get it working. It says do not disconnect. It's on this thing here, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna look through some of the files we have here. Power on my mouse. Let's go. Interesting. I'm checking all the dates, and they look like all the way from around 2006. Wow. That's vintage! I mean, it's not that long time ago, but I guess it's pretty cool. Nothing interesting in instructions. That's very interesting. I, I don't remember seeing this on this baby. So. I thought iPods were originally just, just playing music, but who knows. I'm just a Microsoft nerd, not an Apple nerd. Um, menu? Can... We, can, we can't do anything? I, are you serious? Hmm. I bet Apple users who actually use this product are facepalming right now. There's an option to expand it, but I'm really scared what happens if I do it, so I'm not gonna do it. Please don't get mad at me when I do this. Please don't get mad at me when I do this iPod. Please. Okay, wow. Is it... It's stuck? Okay, this is new. The charger is actually stuck. I'm not even joking. It's like wedged in there so much, I can't even get it out. Alright, let's disconnect this baby. Alright, safe to remove. Apple. I don't know if that counts as a charge, but for me, I'm just gonna count it as a charge. Oh, wait, is it turning on? Hey. Wake up. I, I, I said wake up. Mm, don't mind if I do. Hold. Good morning. I really don't know how to charge this. Alright, I'm gonna charge this, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. We did it, boys! I don't think this... Oh. It turned off. I don't think this screen has a backlight of any kind because I don't I don't think it has a backlight. I can just tell that I have to do this in like really really bright lighting, so I got to recharge it again. 
Well then, that was certainly an experience. So this is the Mystic J post post uh, commentary. So what happened is that this was actually meant to be two parts, but for some reason, something happened with the second part. So I only got the first part, but I'll share my experience. Number one, it was very, very, very uh, hard to operate this when this thing was at low battery. For some reason, when I was over at another charging area in my house, Okay, yep, it's doing the low battery thing. That's fun. So, anyways, when it was doing it in the other charging area, I thought it was charging really well. And I'm like, yeah, boy, please charge well. But for some reason, it wasn't charging at all, even though I had everything on it. I, like, I, I have the charger plugged it into the outlet. And when I was actually recording uh, different versions of this, different takes... I actually got shocked by removing one of the power bricks, and it numbed my hand. So, that's so fun, ha ha ha. But really, it was really, really painful. So, I found a lot of old, uh, around like 80s-ish, 90s, 2000s-ish songs on here. I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah. Maybe I'll use it for my own use. I'm trying to figure out how to transfer music on this thing, because... When I went on my Windows 10 computer, ba bum, big surprise, it was there. Then none of the music showed up, so I guess this thing is a lost cause. I guess I will use it for display. It does look pretty nice, and I have a thing for obsolete stuff, and I have a thing for Apple products, even though I'm a mainly a Microsoft person. So <laughs> I'm Mythic J, and um, I'm Mythic Gone. See you, everyone, in the next video, and hopefully. Stuff like this won't happen again. I'll do a follow-up to this, most likely, though. I'll see you later!